Welcome back everyone, this is more Mega Man X3 and I am Moe Chicken, I got that backwards. Anyway, today we are going to this place, that large empty patch of, of dirt that you may have noticed in the middle of the map screen has now been revealed to be Dr. Doppler's lab! In we go! All right, uh, we're, apparently we're in the junkyard. We are in the junkyard of Doctor, Dr. Doppler's lab, and it's very purple. Oh, and these red guys are back. Darn it, I was, I'd kind of gotten used to the fact that they were all like the easy green ones nowadays, but... Anyway, we are here in Dr. Doppler's lab. We're going to try and beat this game tonight. Hopefully, hopefully I can beat it. We'll see. Uh, but, oh, the ceiling is attacking me. Hello, evil ceiling. Why must you fall upon me? Why must you attack me? Now, hopefully, hopefully I... I did everything right, and I will be able to get something very exciting in this level. There is a very fun secret that you can get in this particular stage if you did everything right. All those times that we, you know, I did all that malarkey with the pink capsules and all that stuff. Hopefully, it will all come to fruition tonight. We'll say, oh gosh, uh, uh, the walls are closing in really rapid. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, go up. Okay. All right. All right. I have evaded the danger. Hooray. Um... Oh, it's you. Uh, these guys, they're so much of a liability once you have the, like, stronger charge shot. Which is silly, because you would expect the charger, you know, the stronger charge shot to always be good. That's what you'd assume, right? But, nope. Nope, those guys are like, ha ha ha! Now you shoot too high! And now we find a spiky room when suddenly this giant bipedal happy robot shows up. And then, it's Zero! X, I've come to help you! I'll stop the collapsing ceiling. You destroy that junk robot. All right. I'll shoot it. Beat it up. So uh, this is uh, that was actually something that surprised me. So I, I had to test play this just a little bit to make sure that I knew how to do the secret I was just describing. But I didn't remember that Zero showed up. So he just kind of like pops in. He's like, X, there is an army of powerful mavericks in Dr. Doppler's lab. They've been modified by Dr. Doppler into war machines. Be careful. I'll watch my step. Thanks, Zero. I'm going to scout around. I'll catch up later. Now, Zero, the fact that Zero is showing up is, al is also sort of an auspicious thing because he is part of the secret. Which we will also see, uh, although this is it, ah, it's you again. <laughs> it's like that's the scariest thing that Doctor Doppler throws at me. It's these little red robots that I can't use a charge shot on. Um, but yeah, there. So this, this, this there's sort of a, I guess, two secrets in Mega Man X3 that you can get at near the end of the game, like we're at right now. Let's see, jump. Uh, there's something over there, but whatever. All right. So I needed. To, so before I go down here, I needed to have, um. All of all of those all of those things that did in the other levels, I needed to have full sub tanks. I actually spent probably about I don't know 15, 20 minutes before this getting all the sub tanks together. And now we move forward and okay, so you see this pit? These balls fall into the pit, and you're like, oh, what's down here? Oh, it goes down. What could be down here? But a special pink capsule. What's this? And hold this capsule, X. Install this chip to enhance all your parts. The situation should now be improved. Good work, X. So yeah, you were all those little pink capsules that were like, Oh, get on this one and make your legs better. Or get on this one and make your arms better. Or just, you know, do it all at once and become golden. Yes! So in that, I now have all of the upgrades, like, in one go. Yeah, so you have to have all, you have to have all the, uh, all the sub-tanks, they have to be full, you have to, um, you have to have all the upgrades, you have to have seen all the, all the pink capsules, I believe. Um, you pretty much just have to have everything. It's sort of like the, uh, the, the super bonuses in, um, Mega Man X, X, or Mega Man X's 1 and 2, except instead of being like a Street Fighter reference this time, it's just superpowers. You know, it's just like all the power-ups in the game. Which is cool. You know, I like that. Although, truth be told, I don't really remember what the Buster upgrade is. Like, the, the head upgrade, I think, is that you get back more energy from, like, like uh, for your, your, your special weapons. And the armor is just redu more reduced damage. The the boots are you can dash twice in the air. 
Uh, I don't know what the Buster one is. Anyway, let's see. What are we going to be fighting? We're, um, it looks kind of like an elephant. Uh oh, which shoots stuff. And, uh, I'm going to shoot it. Okay, so, okay, I can hit its nose, too. And I'm sure that claw is nothing good for me. Um, I think I'm, yeah, I'm supposed to hit it in the eyes. All right, well, now the, the for me, the province of, uh, of Sigma stages is that I always start to use sub weapons. So let's see if any of these do anything to him. Hey, hey, no, uh, you didn't like that very much. Okay, what about that one? Nope, not very interested in that either. So, I mean, like, I, you, you know, I, I, I'm sure you've noticed, I usually play this game by just sort of, uh, ow, just using the buster all the time. But, you know, it's like, I, I have I have the sub the special weapons, so why not actually use them? And that one's not doing much. And the reason I don't actually use them is because apparently they kill me and I'm doing terribly. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm hitting the nose a lot is the problem. Ah. Alright, that's cool. I killed that, like, junk bot. Cool. Um, not helpful, though. Ah. Do you like ice? Is ice your friend? Alright, let's see. Okay. Hit him in the face. Hit him in the face. No. I, I need to try and hit him. Come on. Get him, get him, get him. No? Okay, is this guy actually vulnerable to anything? Maybe I should just stick with the plan of, uh... Ooh, he does not like drills. Not a fan of drills, huh? Oh. Uh, now the entire room is flooded. That's cool, I guess. Oh, that... His, uh... Mm. You know, maybe I should just use the Mega Buster. I'm gonna try the drill one more time. <laughs> I want to use my I want to use my special weapons. Oh, oh I bet you that's something cool. <laughs> I bet you have a Nova Strike. Okay. Now, something I should say is that I I have very little familiarity with this part of the game. Like, if it seemed like I didn't know what I was doing before, I definitely don't know what I'm doing now. Um, I seldom got this far in the game, or I seldom would play this long in Mega Man X3, and so a, a lot of this is going to be really new to me, and I'm going to have to just try to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know. It's We'll see how I do. And so I don't know any of, the, any of the weaknesses for the Sigma bosses. I don't know. I keep calling them Sigma bosses because, you know, it's Sigma stages. I mean, I'm sure everyone knows that by now. It's technically Dr. Doppler's lab, but whatever. This is the Sigma stages. Of course, we're going to fight Sigma eventually, so... Yeah. Now, something kind of interesting. Um, you may recall I, during the, uh, the, the the regular Reploid levels, I uh, yep, there he goes. I was beating a Mysterious Maverick and Bit and Bite. Now, if I had not done that, I think in this stage I would have fought Bit and Bite in the in here. Like you can see, there's an, an opening on the far right side. I think if you came here and Bit and Bite were still alive, you would go through that opening instead of fighting the, the boss I just fought. Um, and then in the next stage, I would I would have fought uh, Vile, Mysterious Maverick. So anyway, that was the first Sigma stage. We now have the shiny golden. I keep calling it Sigma stage. It was the first Doctor Doppler Lab stage. I have my shiny golden armor that provides me all the powers in the world, and we will get another exciting secret next time. So come back then, and I'll see you then. Thanks for stopping by.